These SD cards were purchased from the same seller on Amazon, arrived in the same packaging, and one of them is real, but one is fake. I'm gonna show you how to avoid counterfeit SD cards and flash drives, how to test them to see if they're legit, but also show you the new scam that I found out about when purchasing these two cards. The first thing to do when buying SD cards or flash drives is to make sure they come from a reputable seller. Now, if you're like me, you have seen way cheaper versions of cards with huge capacities on eBay and have been tempted to buy them. Many years ago, I did this with a micro SD card and didn't realize it was a counterfeit until too late. These cards that advertise huge capacities like 512 gigabytes are usually just 8 gigabyte cards that are rewritten with software that makes the card think that it's 512 gigabytes. So when you plug it into your phone, camera, or computer, it will often look legit at first. The problem is, once you fill up to that 8GB capacity, it's going to start overwriting on the card, leading to memory corrupted files. I had this problem with a cheap camera many years ago and thought it was the camera's problem when it was really the micro SD card's fault. So how to avoid this? Make sure to buy from real stores. If you're going to buy on eBay, buy directly from the company that makes them. Don't buy from a no-name seller, even if they have good reviews. Most of the time, people that buy them don't realize the issue until it's too late. So you can get them on Amazon, and you'll probably have pretty good luck, and Amazon also has a really nice return policy. But I would recommend testing your cards before using them, even if you buy from a legit seller, so if you suspect your card might be fake, there are a couple programs you can run to test them. For Windows, I recommend H2 Test W, and for Linux and Mac, you can use H3. Links to both of these and some legit SD cards are in the description. So I recommend formatting the card before doing this, but just download the software, select the location of the card, and have it test the card by writing and reading to all the contents. You can generally just have it do 8200 megabytes of testing since most fake cards are 8 gigs or smaller if you're in a rush, but I recommend testing the whole card just to be thorough. This will probably take a while, but you can just let it run while doing something else. It will then report if there's any errors. Now this fake that I got was not a normal counterfeit card. It came in the exact same packaging as the other, and the sticker is identical. I didn't realize anything was wrong when plugging it into my computer, but I quickly realized something was up when the computer wouldn't even format the card. I wasn't even able to run the HHS software because this card couldn't be read at all. But once I compared the cards a little closer, I realized the issue. Now these are two completely different cards. This is the real one, as you can see, it's got the 256 at the bottom, but this is the fake one. If we can get it to read, you'll see says V60 64 gigabyte. So this was not originally a 256 gigabyte card. This was a 64 gigabyte card. And by that, what I suspect happened is either someone got a fake SD card or their legit ProGrade 64 gigabyte card stopped working for some reason. Maybe it was damaged in some way. And what they did was they bought this Lexar card, put this sticker on the ProGrade card, somehow swap them inside the packaging or maybe it was somehow repackaged at Amazon not quite sure how that would have worked and then returned it to Amazon saying it was still new and then Amazon resold it to me fortunately Amazon is great with returns if you buy directly from them so I'm not too worried but had this been from some random seller I might just be out of luck thank you guys for watching subscribe for more if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below I'll see you next time